Hey, it's Anya. So I want to talk about what kinds of stuff to write in your belly dance notes. So we've already established in a previous video why you might want to take notes. So you can go find that if you're not sure if you want to do notes or not, or if they might help you. Um, but assuming you do want to take notes, I think it's really useful to, you don't have to write notes on everything. So first of all, it's good to take notes on things that you find interesting, right? Um, so interesting about movement, or maybe you're doing a class or a workshop that has a lot of um, cultural background material that's probably really interesting. So you'll be writing that stuff down. Also, it helps to remember that too. Um, you also want to take notes if you've been given any feedback that is specific for you, both of things that are really wonderful that you do and maybe some things, you know, tips on how to improve what you're doing. Those are very useful things to write down. Um, not always because you're going to go back and refer to them, but because in the moment it helps you integrate that information. And also when it's something wonderful, it helps you celebrate it, which is so good. All right, so an another kind of thing that you might want to write down is if you overhear any tips that are given to other dancers that you felt like, ooh, that was really insightful, that helped me a lot. So anything about technique, about a transition from one move to the next, or um, a cultural insight, or some way to, you know, something about emotional expression, whatever it might be, something that ha like gave you that insight of like, oh yeah, that's how it goes together. Oh yeah, that's how I make it work. Write those things down. Those are really, really important. And again, just the act of writing those down sometimes is enough to really get it in your, your body and your brain at a deeper level. And then the other kinds of things that you're going to want to write down are uh, maybe things like combinations or new moves that you're learning, uh, especially if they're complex or maybe even a whole choreography. So that can become a little trickier sometimes to take notes on those kinds of things. So it's useful if you have a um, vocabulary for describing the movements. Now, if you're learning a new move, there might be a name for it, but you might not have fully integrated yet what that move is. So you might need to describe it, draw little pictures. Um, I often in my notes will make little stick figures. I might show like arm positions or um, what direction I'm looking or the direction of movement, or maybe I'll draw a little floor pattern. And sometimes I make arrows to say, you know, go this way first, or I'll put the counts, uh, you know, counts one and two face this way, counts three and four face that way, whatever you need to do so that it makes sense to you. Um, you'll start to come up with your own note-taking shorthand. So for me, um, in addition to making little drawings and arrows and numbers and all of that, I also use things like R and L for right and left, so I don't have to write out the whole word. You can use F and B for front and back. Um, there are many, many uh, little ways that you can kind of shortcut the time it takes to write and still put in the information that you want to retain. All right, so for all you belly dance note takers out there, I hope this is helpful. Remember to put down the stuff that interests you, any tips or insights that were personal to you or to anyone else that really helped you understand the material and any combinations, moves, choreographies that you want to use. And because belly dance is a cultural dance form, sometimes you might get a lot of interesting cultural information and that's often really great to write down as well because it's so enriching for this dance form. Alrighty, I'll see you in another video.